shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Back inside again today, it's just a little bit too wet outside. And while we're talking about wet, smooth transition into the Chums board short wallet. Um, now before I get into it, this is, this is another one that has been um, suggested to me by one of the fellow um, Moreland EDC community here. So I definitely want to give a shout out to Aaron, Aaron Schiltner. Um, he suggested this hmm, probably a few months back when I did a piece of content on, on some other wallets. Um, and it also appeared recently when we looked at the Alpaca zipper pouch. So. I'm actually really glad that he suggested this. As soon as I saw it, it really kind of spiked a nostalgic 80s feel to it, especially when you look at the color. Um, now they, they do come in a lot of different colors, um, which I mean, feel free to have a look at the website. I'll, I'll, I'll leave some links below here as well. But what I'll do for now is let's turn the camera around so that we can have a closer look at the board short wallet. So as we usually do, we'll go around it, uh, the materials maybe, and the, uh, the actual features itself. So as far as measurements are concerned, as you'd expect for a small wallet like this that's perfect for your cards, it's roughly the size of your cards. So here for the UK, if you're looking at this in centimeters or millimeters, it's roughly 110 millimeters by 80 millimeters. Um, if you're after that in inches, that's about four and a half inches by three inches across um, when it's closed. That was just a little bit wider then because I, th I think the zip was open. It's made uh, completely from this durable ripstop nylon. Now, if I was to hazard a guess, and this purely is a guess because I did, um, I think it was, I think it was this. So the the ripstop nylon that's that's in here, if I remember rightly, is a, is a 110D, and it it does feel just a little bit thicker than that one. So I mean, I guess maybe it's a 250, maybe a 300, but again, that's a complete guess as it it doesn't really say on the website. It just says that it's a it's a durable ripstop nylon. Um, it's very nice. It's got a very smooth finish to it. Now, again, it doesn't say that on here, but I've tested it just by putting some water on here and water does bead off. Whether or not it does have some hydrostatic um, sort of co covering or coating, I'm not too sure. I think that's just from the qualities of the ripstop nylon that it, it just has that effect. Um, there are two sides, as to most things, there are two sides to this. On this side, um, there is a simple pocket, and in this pocket there is a nylon piece of webbing, and you get the um, the, the key, oh, sorry, you get the, the, the actual ring to this. This is a, 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 an old key that I've, that I've managed to find. Perfect for the situation where you know you just need to throw some cards into here. Maybe it is that you are going surfing for the day. Maybe it is that you just have that one house key. It could be a locker key. It could be anything that you have on the front and push it in. Um, and then you've got the vast majority of your stuff there. Um, also, as far as colors now, I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head, but I think there's between kind of 15 to 20 different colors. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see that you the, the two zips are a different color. This pocket here is a different color to this back, fa back fabric. Um, so there is different variations in each of these and there's some really nice ones. There was also, I was, I was toying between this version and a version that had I think there was toucans on it or something like that, which I thought was, again, I'm gonna mention it a lot, but there's a massive nostalgia factor to this. And this is exactly why I went for pink. You're probably thinking, wow, whew, Morelander pink, that is a bold choice. Now, as the saying goes, fortune favors the bold, but it took me back to the 1980s, these colors. There's quite a lot of other different colors, um, but just this combination of colors was just really 
kind of retro 1980s for me and it just jumped out to me straight away. Stitching wise, stitching across the top, stitching on the inside. Um, the stitching isn't reinforced, however, you know, it seems reasonably strong and for what you're using this for, I think it's perfectly adequate to make sure um, that it all stays together. Now this is the section that we've been looking at on this side where you've got the key. As mentioned, there is a zip on the top. Here are um, four cards, which is usually what I carry, um, or at least how I split up my cards. So I, I keep those in there. If you want to put extra things in there, there's a coin in there as well. It fits in perfectly. So you can put extra bits and bobs in. While I was testing this, I was away and did a bit of walking in Wales. Uh, and what I also kept in here was some wired headphones so that I could, I could use those as well. And it was great for that. I can't see on here whether or not this is a YKK zip, but again, do you know what? I think for what this is used for, it's not designed to have hard and heavy loads in there that will force open that. So the zip that's on here is very smooth um, and it does an admirable job. Now on the flip side, or at least on the flip side, you'll be able to see that there's a large opening here with some clear, um, I don't know what you call it, I want to say perspex, but it's not perspex, but there's there's a clear section there. And what how I had this is, I had my driving license in there. But when you open this up, hopefully you'll be able to see that they've used another piece um, of this uh, ripstop material um, to be able to split this into two sections. So on the front section here, this is where I had my ID. Uh, and in the back section here, this is where I kept the card that I used the most and also cash. So it's great that there is a little bit of internal um, organization that you can do in this section. And that's kind of it. Do you know what? It's a super simple, really fun kind of wallet. and. I'm going to say it again, there's a massive nostalgia hit for me growing up in the 80s. The colours, everything on this really does take me back to being a youngster. Um, I think whether you're after that 80s nostalgia hit, because you know, you, you survived the 1980s, or whether you're young now and you think, do you know what, I, I like the look of that, then I think this would be great. Oh, I forgot to mention, so the, the reason that I flipped it like that is that the zip here is on the opposite side to the zip here, and I think that's a clever use of each of the different seams so that rather than having two zips for two separate pockets, which would probably um, make this a little bit wider, um, they've, they've been able to use those on each side. I didn't mention how thick this is, but I, I think it came in with, with nothing in it. It was about five millimeters, or it was, what's that? That's a quarter of an inch it is really really small what i've also got is just a few other wallets to compare this to um now i, I did show this off or at least i showed this off when i reviewed this a few weeks back this is the alpaca um zip pouch and they're, they're very similar wallets there is a there's a larger section or a section here that you can put cards that you don't use the most and i, I kept my other cards that i use the most in here uh, but hopefully you can see as far as the size is concerned if i put this on the top they're very similar this is probably maybe say about a centimeter longer some other comparable sizes here's some other wallets that i have reviewed um, on my channel this is the foxlow wallet which again, if I put that on top there, you can see it's a, it's a similar size, whereas this uses a really nice traditional uh, card holder style. This is the Molecule Wallet from Pioneer, uh, which again uses uh, ridiculously space age ripstop um, material. But again, putting those on top of each other, you can see that they're again a similar size. This is a lot thinner. I mean, it's, it's a lot thinner. So it's, it's difficult to compare them when you, when you stack them up like that. However, um, putting them like this is, is probably the, the best way to, uh, to, to, to show that. 
Um, another one, I suppose, just if you're thinking, you know, if, if you're really into your ultra minimalist style card holders, this is the Aviator wallet. Um, so when you when you put this on here, you can see that there is, well, let's, let's turn this over. You can see that there is quite a bit of difference in size. Whereas when you're looking at the footprint or how this sits in your pocket, then there's not really much of a difference between the two. Um, I've been carrying this solely in my rear pocket and it's great. It's, you know, it, it, there is a bit of bend to it anyway because of the, there's, there's nothing in there to keep it rigid. Um, so sitting on this for hours on end, it's not been any issues whatsoever. There's no, not been any hot spots. Um, but this would be equally as good in a front pocket or if you want to throw this into a pack or pouch or, or anything else. Now there's a lot that I appreciate about this wallet. Um, I think when you get into it, you know, it's a, it's a great designed, simple pouch for carrying cards and extra other items so that when you're doing certain activities, you know, it's perfect as, you know, it's board shorts. You can just drop them into it, put it in your pocket or stash it somewhere on your person so that it's just all there. And I think it does a very good job of doing that. Um, but the, the biggest feature that I appreciate the most about this really is that nostalgic factor to it. Owning this, using this, taking it out of my pocket, even like I mentioned with the pink on there, it takes me back to the 1980s. You know, I've got my Bart Simpson t-shirt on, I've got my Bermuda shorts on, and I'm out, I'm out on my bike or my BMX or on my skateboard. And having a simple wallet like this that, you know, it, it just does what it needs to do and it does it very well. It's incredibly simple and I don't think it needs to be any more overcomplicated. Um, I think if you're after a small, minimal wallet, then it's very good for that. It doesn't use space age fabrics, it uses pretty kind of run of the mill stuff you can pick up this style um, durable ripstop nylon from anywhere and be able to make something like this. Um, but it just it just ticks quite a few boxes, plus that nostalgia factor. And yeah, a massive shout out again to Aaron Schiltner for uh, suggesting this. I really appreciate it. And I, I think this is a great little wallet. Uh, I'll leave some links in the description below. Uh, some of those may be some affiliate links. If you choose to use those, that would be awesome. It's just a small kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. There'll be some of my social media links in there as well. Um, but yeah, don't forget to share or like, subscribe and share. That would be great. But for now, stay safe, stay more under and stay EDC.